You will to learn a completely new prompt engineering technique that is called step back prompting developed by Google DeepMind. We're going to quickly learn what is this technique and then we're going to use a cookbook that has been put out by Langchain and we're going to see a live demo of how you can use step back prompting to improve your RAG retrieval, retrieval augmented generation. Let's get started. The first thing is we have got a new paper called step back prompting or take a step back evoking reasoning via abstraction in large language models. Technique is a very simple approach. The approach is you have a original question and whenever you have a original question, the first step is abstraction and in abstraction, you ask the LLM to create a step back question, something that is higher level. So for example, if you have got a question that says, what happens to pressure B, blah, 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 then you just simply create a step back question that says, what are the physics principles behind this question? This is the first step. Once you have the step back question ready, then you use the step back question as an abstraction guided answer. So you use that and create a step back answer. And that is what is going to be used as reasoning to create the final answer. Let's look at another example. If you have got a original question that says, Estella Leopold went to which school between August 1954 and November 1954, then you create a step back question that says, what was Estella Leopold's education history? And that creates a step back answer. And from that, you do reasoning to create the final answer. It is all this algorithm is. Let's quickly go ahead and then see a very quick demo before we actually do the hands-on. This is a cookbook that has been put out by the Langchain team. And if you see in this question, the question that they are asking is, was ChatGPT around while Trump was president? This is the question. Was ChatGPT around while Trump was president? And for this question, if you ask this question normally, like the baseline, it would say, yes, ChatGPT was around while Donald Trump was president. In fact, you can see from this paper, even chain of thought could not answer these questions without step back prompting. So if you go back to this demo that they have put together, so the baseline, baseline is it says, yes, ChatGPT was around while Donald Trump was president. Well, that is not true. ChatGPT was launched on November 2022 when Donald Trump was not the US president. So how do you manage to do it? It actually creates a step back question. This is the base question. And then from that, it creates a step back question that says, when was ChatGPT developed? Then you use the DuckDuckGo search API wrapper to get the information from the internet for both the question and also the question gen, which is basically the step back question. And you use both the knowledge to create the step back chain that will finally give you the right answer that says, no, ChatGPT was not around while Donald Trump was president. ChatGPT was launched on November 30, 2022, which is after Donald Trump's presidency. As you can see that this question has been rightly answered using RAG, the retrieval augmented generation from the internet, thanks to the step back prompting. Let's go look at the Google for Lab notebook to do hands on step by step. The first thing, if you're doing it on local machine, you might already have the open AI ABA key configured. If you do not have, you can use this piece of code to configure your OpenAI API key in your OS environment path. Once you do that, then you need to install four different libraries. OpenAI, of course, to use OpenAI model. Langchain, for you to use this entire prompt chain. DuckDuckGo search, for us to do retrieval augmented generation using internet. And Langchain hub, for us to get the step back prompting prompt chain from the Langchain hub or the Langsmith, as you can see here. You can directly get this into your own Langchain workflow. Once you have all these things installed ready, the next thing that you have to do is you have to import the required particular libraries and the classes from Langchain.chat models import chat open AI. This is the main, the chat model that you're going to use. And then you import the prop template and other aspects. Then you need to also create the few short prompts for it to understand how to create the step back prompts or the step back examples. So you use the few short chat message template to do that and then a couple of other, you know, utility functions. The first thing that you need to do is you need to give the examples. Okay. Whenever you ask a question like this, 
could the members of the police perform lawful arrest then you create a step back question how does a step back question look like for this input the step back question should be slightly higher level slightly an abstraction what can the members of the police do that's the abstraction the higher level question for another question for example input jan sindels a jan sindels was born in what country whenever you have a question like this you tell the llm to create a step back question that sounds like this what is jan sindels or jan sindels personal history so when you give these examples then you turn them into the few short example prompt so you use chat prompt template from messages human the input the input that we just saw and the output from ai and you use this as a few short prompt that can go inside the prompt template in itself then you create the chat prompt template from messages the system prompt the basic thing like you are an expert at world blah blah blah, blah and then you have the few short prompt and the user and the question so this way the large language model knows that whenever a question like this is being asked it has to generate an answer like this and then that goes inside this question gen so it the prompt is there and you specify you know the chat gpt a uh, chat open ai with temperature 0 and then the final output parser so once you send that and create the question gen for example for a question that says was gpt for around while trump was president that is the question that we are sending it to it and then we use question gen dot invoke to take this question and create this output and once you have this particular output then you use from langchain utilities import duckduckgo search api wrapper to go to the internet and get the answer so you first use the retriever on question then you use the retriever on question gen invoke uh, which is going to be what is the timeline of gpt 4s existence which is the step back question and then finally you're going to import or pull the step back answer from the langchain hub and then you create a chain you have got the normal context then you have got the step back context and then you have got the question in and itself and you get the response wrong with chat gpt api and then finally print the output and once you invoke the chain with the question it says no gpt4 was not around while donald trump was president according to the provided context the gpt4 was launched on november 30 2022 which is after the time period when donald trump was the president of the united states and the baseline is it just says that it cannot provide any information so let me quickly go over the code before i give you a quick demo so import all the required libraries like in this case langchain and different classes create the few short examples of how it should generate the step back question once you have that then that is mainly what you're going to do for a given question what should be the step back question and then use whatever rack technique that you have got to get the answer for both the question and also the step back question and then use that in a chain with the step back logic you have got the normal context you've got the step back context and then you have got the question so you're going to retrieve for the normal context retrieve for the step back context and then you're going to get the actual question you're going to send it and once you invoke it you're going to get the right answer so let's go ahead and then ask a different question now instead of this so i'm going to ask was something like this was um let me ask book new question point at lava model lava multi-model model was lava multi-model model around while donald trump was a president we all know that lava was recently launched i would ask the same question again and let's see what it says okay it created a step back question that says what is the timeline of lava multi-model models existence use DuckDuckGo search api wrapper retrieve the answer for the question we are going to ask it to create for the step back question once it is done then you can go here pull the step back answer from the lang chain hub or lang smith and then create the normal context chain the the chain that we discussed about and you ask the question so in some cases i got the answer only in the second attempt that's what i've noted here so once we ask the question we are going to get an answer let's see what is the answer going to be it says based on the given context there is no direct information or relevance uh, the information privately provides about lava model by uc davis and microsoft research so it didn't give a wrong answer and also it didn't give 
the right answer. So let's go ahead and ask one more question. Was Joe Biden the president while Trump was the US president? You know, it's a very weird question. Let's see. Let's ask the question. Again, send it to Langchain Retriever. So this is the, who were the presidents of United States during a specific time period? Get the answer, get the answer. Let's see what it does, what it does, what it does, what it does. Okay, here you go. You got the answer saying, no, Joe Biden was not the president while Donald Trump was the president. Donald Trump served as the 45th US president. Joe Biden, on the other hand, became the president, uh, the 46th president. So succeeding Donald Trump. So we have got the right answer. The factuality has improved, hallucination has reduced. It's a better RAG retrieval augmented generation system. All thanks to the paper from DeepMind about step back prompting and also thanks to Langchain for putting together this wonderful cookbook that we can use right away for you to start. We will link all the required links in the YouTube description. You can directly click the link and check it out. See you in another video. Happy prompting.